Welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Kayla. So in today's video, we are gonna talk about Walgreens. We are gonna talk about all the ins and outs of Walgreens and everything you need to know to get started couponing there. Now, if you already coupon at Walgreens, but you're still kinda like, I don't know. So I get questions every week about Walgreens of when can I use a registered reward? When can I use Walgreens cash? How does all of that work? So in today's video, we are going to go over the basics of what are register rewards, what are Walgreens cash, and how do we use them, how do we earn them, and also what do we not want to do. I'm going to walk you through the simplest of things at Walgreens to the more difficult. So if you are interested in learning more about how to coupon at Walgreens, stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and check all of this out and if you're completely new to my channel welcome thank you so much for being here if you want to learn how to coupon at Walgreens I do Walgreens must do deals every week I also show you deals in the store every Sunday so if you enjoy the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up as well as hit that red subscribe button below so you don't miss any new videos you can even turn on the notification bell and it'll notify you anytime I post a new one so let's go ahead and get into the first thing. All right, guys, so the very first thing we're going to talk about is register rewards. So I'm going to go over those a little bit now, and we're also going to talk about them later. So first thing, got some in front of me. This is what a register reward looks like, okay? So first off, if you have not seen one before, you kind of need to know what it looks like so you know what you're looking for, right? So with a register reward at Walgreens, a register reward will print when you do a deal that earns a register reward. So for example, in the Walgreens ad each week, they're going to show you deals that earn Walgreens cash or earn register rewards. So register rewards is a type of money that you can spend at Walgreens. So it counts as a manufacturer coupon. And when it prints out after you purchase the item that was required to get this register reward, you can use this for almost anything in the store. It has a few exclusions on it, but mainly it just excludes like you can't buy lottery tickets or alcohol or dairy for some reason. <laughs> Anyways, so those are the main things that you can't buy with a register reward otherwise you can use these for almost anything another important thing to know about register rewards is that these do not attach to a certain account number so for example if I found a register reward out on the ground if I wanted to pick that up and use it on my account I could because it doesn't attach to a certain account so with that being said it's really great because you know they're very versatile. I guess if you have more than one account or anything like that, you're able to go ahead and use it. So these are Catalina coupons. So when you are buying your item at the register, after you have paid and your receipt prints out, this will also print out from the Catalina machine. So you can use it on your very next purchase if you want. These normally stay good for about 14 days or so. So for example, I earned this one on February 14th at Walgreens and it expires on February 28th. So I have plenty of time to use this. I normally will go ahead and use my register rewards from one week to the next or sometimes I'll even use some in the same day. Another important thing to know about a register reward is that when you are making a purchase, say for example, if Colgate toothpaste is on sale and when you buy two, you get a $3 register reward, okay? So if you wanted to buy four of the Colgate toothpaste, if you bought them all in one transaction, you would only get one register reward. That is because register rewards only print one per deal per transaction. So if I buy two Colgate and then I get my register reward, I could purchase another two Colgate and I would get another register reward. Now, if I took this register reward that I just earned and I tried to pay for my next Colgate with it to get another register reward, the new register reward would not print. 
Sometimes you can roll a register reward from one deal to another, um, but normally they will not roll on the same deal. Occasionally they will, but I don't really like to chance it because I don't wanna lose my money, right? So that is another thing. If you are doing different deals in one transaction, say for example, if I am buying Colgate and I'm buying Bounty Paper Towels, one is earning a $3 register reward and one is earning a $6 register reward. It is totally fine to do those in the same transaction and both register rewards will print. Now, if you ever have trouble and your register reward does not print, what you can do is you can contact the Catalina company and they will actually mail you your register reward. So I do have a link below each video with that info to the Catalina company. That way you can get your register reward because occasionally the machine at the store may not be working or something like that. And it's kind of a hassle. So that is just a way that you can get your money if it doesn't print. So the next type of money at Walgreens that we want to talk about is Walgreens cash. So it was formerly known as points. So if you've been shopping at Walgreens for a while, you know that we used to call it points. Now it is called Walgreens cash. And it is a type of money that you can spend in the store that you earn on certain items. So for example, if I'm looking at the store's ad for the week and it says, if you buy two razors, you're going to get $5 in Walgreens cash. That means that I can go ahead and purchase those razors. $5 in Walgreens cash will be added to my account. So when you're checking out, you want to type in your phone number at the register. That way, any rewards you earn will get put onto your number. And if you're not signed up on Walgreens yet, if you're completely new, then you want to make sure to go onto the Walgreens website, sign up for the Walgreens card. That way, you can start earning these rewards and get the good sale prices and all of that. The important thing about Walgreens cash is that you can only redeem it in certain increments. So for example, if I am checking out and I want to use some Walgreens cash to pay, I would tell my cashier, I want to pay with $5 in Walgreens cash, or I'd like to use $10 in Walgreens cash. Now, if you're checking out and say your total is $8, you can't pay with $8 in Walgreens cash. What you would have to do is you would use $5 in Walgreens cash, and then you would pay the remainder out of pocket. So the increments that you can use your Walgreens cash is $1, $2, $3, $4, $5 and then it goes up to $10, $20, and 50 is the max amount that you can use in one transaction. So a little later, we're going to talk about how to use your Walgreens cash, when you can use it, whether something is a buy deal or a spend deal. Um, we're going to get into that. But another just basic thing about Walgreens that you should know is that Walgreens has their own store coupons. So this little booklet right here, this is the one for this month. It changes each month. But when you pick up this booklet, you can normally find it at the front of the store. They'll have like a little stand normally that has these on it. And if you don't see any at your store, make sure to ask the cashier about the Walgreens um, savings booklet and hopefully they will have it. Now, these coupons are also available on your Walgreens app. So if you're looking on your app and you see a coupon that says with card, that is a store coupon. Now on your app, you have manufacturer coupons and store coupons. Now you can stack a manufacturer coupon with a store coupon on the same item. So that's another thing. So we're gonna look at an example of that. So one example of using a store coupon and a manufacturer coupon on an item is on the Scott toilet paper. So this is a deal that comes around pretty often. The Scott toilet paper is priced exactly like it shows here, $5. But in our booklet, we have a $1.25 coupon. Now, if you look there, it's $1.25 off and it shows the paper towels on the picture, but it's good for paper towels, for toilet paper, and also for Kleenex. So the cool thing about the IVC coupons is that if I'm buying one of these and the cashier scans this coupon, it'll take $1.25 off. If I'm buying five of these, it will take $1.25 off of each item. So as many items as you are buying, it will take it off. So that it does it automatically when they scan it once. So that is really awesome. Now, for example, right now, we have a $1 coupon on the Walgreens app 
for Scott toilet paper. So I could use that $1 manufacturer coupon. I'd type in my phone number at the register. It would take a dollar off. And then I'm gonna have my cashier scan this or I'm gonna clip this on my Walgreens app. And it will take $1.25 off because one is a store coupon and one is a manufacturer coupon. So I'm gonna get a total of $2.25 off of the $5 price mark. That means I'm only paying $2.75 for a pack of toilet paper. So that is a great way to maximize your savings at Walgreens. And for example, if you have Walgreens cash like we were talking about, if my total was $2.75, I could use $2 in Walgreens cash and then I would just pay 75 cents out of my own pocket. So ignore how old this phone is, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the Walgreens app looking here on my phone. So you can see right here, you have different things on your app, but you wanna click on shop and savings. When you do that, you are gonna go right here to savings. Then when you click on savings, it shows you the weekly ad, it shows you all your coupons. So when you click on all coupons, you can scroll through here and you can go ahead and clip so many different coupons. We have manufacturer digitals, we have the store coupons, all of that. So there's just so much that you can do on the app. So if you don't have a lot of paper coupons, you can still get lots of savings with your digitals. So next we're gonna talk about how you can use register rewards to pay on your transactions. How are you gonna know if you can use a register reward on an item or if you need a filler item? Filler items are an important thing at Walgreens because sometimes we need a filler item in our transaction. And anytime I mention that in a video, a lot of people say, well, what is a filler item? Why do you need that? So we're gonna talk about that. So for example, if I'm buying two Colgate toothpaste, so these toothpaste right here, doesn't matter however much they are a piece, I'm buying two of them. So I'm only allowed to use one manufacturer coupon per item. Okay, so if I had store coupons, I could use a store coupon and a manufacturer coupon on each item and that would be okay. But if I'm only using manufacturer coupons on these, if I have two manufacturer coupons that I got from my newspaper inserts and they're 50 cents off of one, I could use one coupon for this item and one coupon for this item. So I could do that and that's fine. But say I had a $3 register reward and I wanted to pay down the balance on this by using this register reward. I could not do that because this is a manufacturer coupon. So I already have a manufacturer coupon attaching to each of my items. So in order for me to be able to use a register reward on this transaction, I would need an item for this to attach to. It doesn't have to be the amount of this. For example, this is $3 off. I don't have to get a $3 item. All I need is just an item for it to attach to. So this most of this $3 can cover this purchase. So for example, up by the register, they might have a small candy for 30 cents. They might have a lollipop for 50 cents, whatever. So for example, a lot of times Walgreens has teas for two for a dollar. Now these are not teas, but pretend like they are. Okay, so if I had two teas and these were two for a dollar, and I was like, okay, well that's a cheap item that I wanna go ahead and pick up, and that's the cheapest item I could find per se, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get those, I'm gonna use a register reward. It'll attach to one of these, and that is totally fine for my transaction. Now, because I've gotten these and they're two for a dollar, if I had another register reward and I wanted to lower my out-of-pocket even more, say I owed quite a bit on this, then I could use two register rewards because one attaches to each item. Now, another example of this, just about the same thing, but a little bigger transaction, Say I'm buying two of the Nexus sprays and I have two $5 manufacturer coupons. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use those. So again, I have a manufacturer coupon attaching to each of my items. So if I wanna lower my out-of-pocket by using my register reward, I might find a cheap candy up by the register and say, hey, there's this caramel for 49 cents. I can go ahead, attach my register reward to that. So hopefully that makes sense and that helps a little bit of showing how you can use register rewards on your transactions. 
Also, you can use more than one register reward per transaction. Some of you guys tell me that a cashier will tell you that you can't, but you can. As long as you don't have more manufactured coupons than you do items, it is okay for you to use those. Now, another type of coupon that we get at Walgreens that's from the Catalina machine, it's not a register reward, but it is called a spin booster. So a spin booster wants you to spend a certain amount and get a certain amount back on Walgreens cash. Now, anytime you get a paper spin booster like this, you never wanna pay with Walgreens cash to earn back the Walgreens cash because it will not work when you're using a paper booster. So on this one, it says I need to spend $25 in order to get $6 back in Walgreens cash. That just means that I need to spend $25 before coupons. So if I have all of these items here and this all totals over $25, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use my coupons. I'm using, you know, dollar in coupons on Colgate. I'm using $10 in coupons on Nexus. That is totally fine to do that. So if I was using the two $5 coupons, the two 50 cent coupons, and I'm using this spin booster for spend 25, get $6 in Walgreens cash. If I was already spending 25 before my manufacturer coupons and my manufacturer coupons got me all the way down to $14, I would only have to spend that $14 out of my own pocket in cash to earn back the Walgreens cash. So hopefully that makes sense. And if you have any questions, always leave me a comment below, let me know, and I'm happy to help. Next, we are talking Walgreens 101. We are talking about when you can use a register reward, when you can use Walgreens cash, and how you can still earn your rewards back. So I do have a printable list below the video for you guys. It's this exact chart. So it is right like this. So you can print that out below the video in the description box and hold on to it. Maybe put it in your coupon binder. It's going to help shopping at Walgreens make it a lot easier. All right, guys. So this is the chart that I made for Walgreens 101. So we are going to talk about when you can pay with Walgreens cash and when you can pay with register rewards and still earn your rewards back. So on the first thing we're looking at, when you pay with Walgreens cash on a purchase that earns Walgreens cash when you buy, X amount, you will earn your Walgreens cash. So what that means is that if it says buy two of these body wash, earn Walgreens cash back, you can pay with Walgreens cash and you're still going to earn it because this deal says buy. So at Walgreens, if a deal says buy or it says spend, that is an important thing at Walgreens to keep in mind. So the next thing we're looking at is when you pay with register rewards on a purchase that earns Walgreens cash. That is totally fine. You will still earn your Walgreens cash even if you pay with a register reward. Next, we're looking at if you pay with Walgreens cash on a purchase that earns register rewards. Will you still earn the register reward? Yes, you will, no problem. The next thing we're looking at is a big one, the Walgreens cash. When you pay with Walgreens cash on a purchase that earns Walgreens cash when you spend X amount, you will not earn your Walgreens cash. So what this means on this is that if you, for example, have one of those spin boosters we talked about like that, when you spend a certain amount and you earn Walgreens cash back, if it says spend five dollars or spend twenty dollars, get five dollars in Walgreens cash. If you pay with Walgreens cash on that purchase, you will not earn your Walgreens cash back because you have not met the spend amount. When it says spend a certain amount, you have to spend that amount before manufacture coupons. But the things that count towards the spend amount is manufacture coupons and cash out of pocket. So if you have paid at least $20 in manufacture coupons and cash out of pocket, then you have met that amount. Otherwise, you do not want to pay with Walgreens cash. Now, I do have a video below this video in the description box where I show you guys how you can use Walgreens cash to pay on a deal that earns Walgreens cash. It's a little bit of an older video, so in that video, I do refer to it as points, but the concept is still the 
same. It's a little more in depth, a little more confusing, but I do lay that all out in that video if you wanna check that out. Otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. So if you pay with register rewards on a deal that earns the exact same register reward from the exact same deal, you will not earn another register reward. So like we talked about with that Colgate, if I'm buying Colgate and then I try to use that Colgate register reward for more Colgate, it's not gonna print me a new register reward. Now on the next one, if you are paying with wall, or with a register reward and you are doing a purchase that earns a register reward for a different deal. So if I wanna use my Colgate register reward to buy bounty paper towels and it gets a register reward, that is totally fine. You will still earn your register reward. So make sure to print this chart below. I know it's a little messy on my whiteboard, but it's a lot more nice and neat on that printable. And if you can't print it out, you can at least take a screenshot of it and hold on to that. So now we're gonna go ahead and look at a couple other things. So another important thing to know about Walgreens is when it comes to spend boosters, they can be stacked. So if you get one of these paper boosters from the Catalina machine like we talked about, this right here, it says spend 25, get $6 in Walgreens cash. So for example, if I get a spin booster on my digital coupons, I can stack it with this coupon. So I'm gonna pop up on the screen what the digital coupon looks like. So say for example, I have the spend 20, get $5 in Walgreens cash digital booster, and then I have a spend 25, get $6 in Walgreens cash paper booster. These can be stacked on one transaction together. All I would have to do is spend at least 25. So you only have to spend the amount that is the highest one you have. So for example, if this one said spend 20, get $5 in Walgreens cash, and my digital was the exact same, I would not have to spend $40. I would only have to spend $20 before manufacture coupons in order to stack these. Now, with that being said, that means that instead of getting back just $5 in Walgreens cash, I would get back $10 in Walgreens cash on the transaction. So that would be amazing. I love stacking boosters when I can. So that is just another little tip for you when you're shopping at Walgreens that you can stack those boosters for even more savings. Another important thing that I did forget to mention is that when it comes to store coupons, like those IVC booklet coupons we talked about. So let me grab this. So if I use a coupon out of this on a spend deal, so if my deal says spend 20, get a certain amount of Walgreens cash, I can lower that out of pocket with manufacturer coupons and still earn my Walgreens cash. But for example, if I use a coupon that is a Walgreens store coupon, if I use a dollar coupon out of this booklet, that's gonna take my transaction from $20 to $19. So that means I'm $1 short of what I need to be for my spend deal. So always account for these store coupons. If you have a store coupon, subtract that from your total. And if you are under the amount that you need before your manufacturer coupons, you wanna go ahead and add an item to make sure that this doesn't keep you from earning the Walgreens cash. So I hope that you guys have found this video helpful. Definitely let me know in the comments below. If you found it helpful, if you have a question, definitely let me know that as well. And don't forget to print that Walgreens 101 printable chart below the video. It's gonna help you so much with the ins and outs of Walgreens. Sometimes it's easier just to have something straight on paper that you can look at and you can see, okay, I can do this, I can't do that all of that. So I hope that is helpful for you guys. Walgreens is really a great store to coupon at. There are so much savings to be had, and I know that it can be a little difficult to get started, but don't give up on it. If you have questions, ask me. And of course, tune in for my Sunday haul videos each Sunday, where I walk you through all the deals in the store, including newbie friendly deals, spin deals, all of that. So I'm gonna be here to help you with the ins and outs of Walgreens and how to navigate this store to get the most of your savings, get the most out of your money, all of that. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Cash, I would get back $10 in Walgreens tra trash. Trash? <laughs> Pretty much. Ugh.